Hey, we're Mason and Sarah and we're turning this four-wheel drive Toyota Hiace commuter into a camper van and this is the first episode of our build series. In this episode, we gut the van, complete the three-step insulation process with sound deadener, van liner and van seal. Do the electrical rough in, cut and install the subfloor, install the walls and ceiling and get a start on our cabinetry. It is the first morning of our new van build and we are excited to get into it. Yeah, we picked it up late last night, so first thing we're doing now is pulling everything out. <laughs> so, yeah. chairs and everything need to be ripped out. All the walls, get it all an empty van again. There's a lot of stuff in here because um, it was like a minibus with a wheelchair, wheelchair lift wheel. in it. Yeah. Um, so I'll show you what we're dealing with beforehand and then we're going to get stuck straight into ripping all this shit out. Okay, this is what we're dealing with beforehand. We've got a few seats in there. Um, lots of wall panels and bars and roof panels and all of that. So yeah, we're basically just gonna get stuck straight into taking all this out. So we've got like an empty canvas to start working with. Uh, having our morning coffee, having a little break. Um, we're most way through stripping everything out. Um, it was a big job. It was actually a lot bigger than our last van, but we're nearly there. And, and it's filthy oh, as well. We need to clean it. it as well. How good is that? <laughs> oh, I <bought> my head. <laughs> but yeah, nearly finished stripping everything out. Yeah, you can stand up, but you need a hard hat on. So, yeah. This needs a good clean now, so hopefully Moose can start licking it all up for us. Thanks, Moose. And it'll be sweet. <laughs> that is the day done. We got everything pulled out and it was a bit dirty underneath, so we gave it a good clean. Um, Probably took a bit longer getting everything out than we planned, but we had to yeah. give it a good clean. We also chucked in a rubbish tip load as well, so that took up a bit of time. But now we've got an empty van and we can get stuck into the build. Yeah, we're ready for the fun stuff to start tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> I am starting the morning inside today and I've made myself much needed coffee and I am working on the designs for the commuter build. So we've got a bit more space in this van to play around with, which is exciting. So can get a little bit more creative with the design. Um, and I'm basically just writing all my ideas down in a notebook. So I don't really have like a organized way of designing vans, <laughs> um, but I'll write all my ideas down and then I do some really rough sketches of the layout. And then once that's all done, um, Mason actually draws it up on the computer with the correct measurements and that sort of thing. So um, that's sort of where we're at at the moment, but I will show you my sketches anyway. So like I said, they're horribly messy, but I've sort of just done like a rough layout of each section of the van. So we've got the rear and the kitchen, and then next to it, um, I've written a list of the materials that we were going to need for each section. Um, and then sort of same behind the driver's seat and like our pull out kitchen area. And then I'm going to start working on a list of everything that we need to order. And then we're going to get to ordering today. And these are also all of my fabric samples. So I've kept these over time from um, Warwick Fabrics. But I think the one we're going to go with for our like couch bed cushions is this one. So it is, the material is Eastwood and the colour is Fawn. Um, but it's been handy to have all these fabric samples to help me choose. It's always a hard decision, but I think that... Um, with the rest of the colors that we're going to have in the van i think this one will go best we are doing the first bunnings trip of the commuter build we have just pulled into the car park and we've got moose with us <laughs> today it's gonna be our last bunnings trip that we're gonna be doing first and last so. maybe not our last but if you watched our last build series you would have seen that we did Once lots a day, of bunnings twice trips. a day yeah and it Pretty wasted bad. a lot of time so this time we're trying to be more organized we've written a whole list of everything we need um and we're going to Bunnings and we've got to go to a few other shops as well and pick up some things. So hopefully there's less trips out and about and more van building. Yeah. Trying in this to organize build. everything before we start. So <laughs> yeah. that's what we're doing. So let's get to it. Look at this queen sitting up the top. In a cardboard box. Hello. <laughs> 
we can finally get started on the building side of things today. Yeah, big day yesterday. So now we can just break the back of the build. We've got some cracking weather as well, so it's nice <laughs> and blue skies. So I'm gonna get stuck into the subfloors, so electrical rough in, and also do all the battens for the walls and the roof. Yeah, I'm gonna start with the sound deadener and insulate, and then we'll see how much further we get. Hopefully we'll get heaps of it done. <laughs> productive day. Yeah, very productive day. All right, so I have the subfloor all cut and sat in the van. I still need to stick that down, but I'll glue that down at the end of the day when we're not standing there in, in there anymore. Now what I'm gonna do now is I've got the electrical cables I need to rough in. So I'm gonna start running them all around now that Sarah's done all the sound deadener. And she is gonna do the carpet yep. while I do that. So behind her, she's just got the car builder's carpet that we're gonna do on the trims. So we've had a change of plans and a change of outfits as well. Finally, get to van build in shorts and a t-shirt. I don't think we've ever done this. We're normally always in like trackies and puffers because it's freezing, but the weather's beautiful today. So change of plans, I'm gonna insulate first before the carpet because Mason said that I'd be in his way if I did the carpet. Um, so I've got my roll of insulation, insulation down here um, and I'm gonna get started on insulating all the walls and roof. finished insulating Mason's still working on the electrical so I can get to carpeting now and hope I don't get in his way <laughs> so while Sarah's just texting on the job I'm gonna do <laughs> I'm gonna do the battens now so I'm just using a bit of 12 mil plywood I've got the track saw as well I'm just gonna make up 80 mil strips and just rip them down and then I'll start screwing them to the van so then we'll have the battens ready for the walls and the roof <laughs> that was a pretty tough day. Big day. It wasn't tough, it was just a long day. Yeah, it went long. Lucky we had good weather. Yeah. And the sun's still out now, but it's pretty late actually, so. And finishing the day with a bev. Um yeah. and we're just gonna just, do the sub floor. Yeah, we're just thing we're gonna do. taking the sub floor out and we're gonna glue it down and then we will be done. And then we did everything we wanted to do for the day. So yeah. that's a success for the first proper day. <laughs> yeah. Alright, Mason's got his fancy dress costume on. It is Saturday morning. Matrix, Sunday morning actually. <laughs> Um, and we intended on doing the subfloor last night, but we... Our corking gun broke, so mm. we can't glue it down, so we have to go to Bunnings yeah, or so find one. Yeah, so our pact to not go to Bunnings so much in this van build is going really well. Not. Uh, but we have to make a little pit stop first because we are on doggy daycare today. So we've got Benny in the back, Isla. Oh, wow. Isla is Mason's parents' dog, and Moosey is there as well. Uh, and oh my god, Benny's got his crazy eyes on. <laughs> <laughs> And they know where they are, and um, yeah, let's go. Let's go to our pit stop. <laughs> so, we've got a very inexperienced dog walker, and we made it to the Oval. So, let's go run them around. Moose, bit of patience. Are you two ready? <laughs> Guys, was that a good trip to the Oval? Look at all the panting. <laughs> Finally, we can glue down the subfloor. Got Mason in a sexy singlet today. Nice and hot. Sun's out, gun's out. <laughs> So there's two things I'm just going to install onto the side of the van now. See where this little circle is? I'm going to install an external water filler, just the fresh water tank that we're putting in. And then somewhere in this section here, we're going to have a fridge ventilation. So I'm just going to cut the hole for that now. And then we'll have a fridge vent and we'll have the water filler and I'll put those in. All right, finally got my holes done. This one, I normally would use a hole saw. Couldn't find my right hole saw bit, so I had to use a jigsaw, but got it pretty close. So I'm just gonna give it a bit of a file just to knead it off the edges, and then I'm gonna do the rust spray on both of them. So I'm just gonna do a file, rust spray, let it dry, and then I'll install both the things.
So I'm finishing off the insulation process with some van seal. So it's a three-step process. It's a sound deadener, the van liner, and then the van seal. I think I called the van liner insulation earlier, but it was this, like the silver stuff that we've already stuck on there. Um, so with the van seal, it just comes in a big roll like this, and then you just roll it out and staple gun it to the battens, and then that completes the insulation process. Okay, van seal is all done, uh, so we're going to jump into doing the walls and roof now. What I'm up to now in the build is I'm building pretty much all the cabinetry but the overhead cupboards. So I'm using white ply for all the carcasses and I'm starting with the 18 mil thick and I'm also gonna be using the 12 mil thickness for all my drawers and my pull out kitchens and whatnot. So what I'm gonna do now is mark out all my cuts and then I'll start cutting them. You may have noticed me angrily ripping down a piece of carpet in the back of that last video. I'm trying to do the trim across here to cover the gap, um, but I'm on this last piece in this corner and it's curved and it's really hard to fit it in. So um, if you're Been wondering what was going on back there, that's what happened. <laughs> Mason, I don't think that you need those sunnies. Look at the weather. We don't have our sunny days anymore. It's taken a turn for the worst, but... We also don't have power either uh, at the moment, so our day's going great. But I've just been in here um, bogging all the screw holes, did some no more gaps along the trims, and then finished off this section um, over top of the cabin. So just used some of that same carpet and closed up that gap that was above there. So next up for the walls is to give all these screw holes a sand. So I've got my sander there and then I'm just going to get a first coat of paint on before all the cabinetry goes in. Got a couple coats of paint on the walls and roof. It actually makes such a difference. And Mason really wanted to put the cabinetry in, even though it's not finished because we ran out of power. I but need to feel like I achieved something. Today. <laughs> he wants to put it in to see how it fits, so that's what we're doing currently. So I reckon this is about half the cabinetry in, probably got yeah, halfway through today. Uh, and then we will finish it off tomorrow. But oh, moose, look at Moosey in a box. Moose it's a moose in a box. <laughs> All right, we've got the power back on. I got it back on at about 10.30 last night. So it was candles until then. <laughs> Your romantic candle at dinner with the dogs. <laughs> but we got the power back on so we can finish all the cabinetry now. So we've got a lot of cabinetry to catch up on for mm. yesterday and today. So that's a big day. Yeah, that's our plan. And we'll get it all fixed in today. Uh, and we will finally be able to show you our little layout that yeah, we've got. Yeah, you get to see it pretty much all coming together. Yeah. yeah it look cool. So we got all of the 18 mil cabinetry done. We just need to do the bench top out of 18 mil as well, but we'll do that when we're doing the kitchen section. Uh, and then we need to do the 12 mil stuff as well. So the drawers and um, that sort of thing out of 12 mil, but the weather is disgusting and it's definitely slowed us down today. So um, yeah, we'll get back into it when the sun's out. So I think this is where we're gonna leave the episode with some very dreary weather and some half-finished cabinetry. <laughs> Spirits are high though, because we're getting pretty close to the build being finished. <laughs> I don't know, I wouldn't say that, but it's definitely taking shape now. Um, the layout's we'll... starting to come together, so you can start yeah. to see it. In the next episode, we'll talk you through what is actually done in the layout, because I don't think we've explained it yet in this episode, what is actually happening in the build. So you'll see that. We'll also get to see something different that we're doing for the cupboard fronts and the overhead cupboards that we haven't done before. Yeah, we've got some really cool materials that we're going to use for the cupboard fronts. Um, so make sure you subscribe, and we'll see you in the next episode, hopefully full of some more sunshine Definitely. and lots more van building.